Bailey's forfeit gives Lancashire a shot on the final day in Manchester. Lancashire recovered from the loss of three early wickets on day two against Surrey, taking their score to 352 for eight at the close. Many and Bailey returned to the crease on day three, looking to continue to build their already considerable advantage. They did just that, managing to find the boundary on numerous occasions. The pair soon brought up 50s for their side, Many's coming off 91 balls. His partner Bailey reached the landmark in the same over this half century of just 71 balls. Bailey was eventually the next man out, becoming another victim to the teenage spinner Amar Verdi. When this wicket went down, Lancashire subsequently declared 439 for 9 their total. It was an imposing first inning score from the home side. The eighth wicket partnership of Many and Bailey collecting an impressive 118 runs. Chandapal, Croft and Clark also contributed well with half centuries each. With a big total to chase down, the pressure was very much on Surrey. Burns and Stoneman took to the crease to begin their innings and it was a terrible start for the visitors. Stoneman out in just the second over. A delivery from Graham Onions finding the leg stump removing the batsman for a duck. Borthwick and Burns managed to recover well though and they brought up some valuable runs before the lunch break. So, at lunch, Surrey trailed by 390 runs with those nine first innings wickets remaining. The early wicket of Stoneman not ideal for the visitors but they were hoping their batsmen could bat sensibly and keep their team in it going into the afternoon. They managed that well, the pair keeping the runs ticking along without losing any immediate wickets in the afternoon session, Borthwick also quickly reaching a half century. Lancashire did eventually find the breakthrough, Surrey skipper Burns nicking off to a Bailey delivery and that brought Elgar in to join Borthwick at the crease. They managed to get through to tee without any further loss, the score 120 for 2 at the interval. It was a great display of batting that meant Surrey trailed by 319. Borthwick 75 not out at this stage and looking to push on to his century going into the evening. But it wasn't to be for Borthwick. He was caught behind by Davis off onions, seeing him out for 79. Folks and Elgar with a new duo at the crease, both batsmen contributing with boundaries in their own time. Wasn't long before the next wicket fell, Elgar the man out, caught by Villas off Bailey. The South African removed for 34. Ollie Pope was next in bat and settled into the game well with Folks, both men striking boundaries to take the score past 200, only for Folks to fall LBW to Clark for 34. 15 more were added to the total before new man Curran was trapped in front by Livingston. And for the addition of just one more run to the total, Pope was on his way, bowled by Bailey for 17. From 202 for four, Surrey suddenly found themselves 228 for eight, Dernbach, the next to go, caught Jennings off Bailey for seven. Patel and Dunn tried to cling on to close, but Dunn fell LBW to Onions in the penultimate over of the day. Patel did manage to grimly stick in there, Surrey closing on 231 for nine, but if Lancashire can strike early on the final day, they'll feel there's still an outside chance they could push for victory. The home team lead by 208 runs with just day four to go.